All right, what we're going to do here on this last one, so this is the fourth in a series of four type of uh, questions that we're looking at in Unit 1, Section C. The first one was counting atoms and moles of atoms. The second one was doing a calculation of finding grams and moles using the atomic weight on the periodic table, and that is our conversion. And we can convert from grams to moles, and moles to grams of atoms, so we can count atoms. The third one is we went ahead and, and calculated what we call a molar mass, and that tells us how many grams are a mole of a compound instead of an element. This last one, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, what's going to be called percent composition by mass. So, um, a percent is just basically taking a certain weight divided by the total times 100. And that's what we're going to do here. So, we're going to take a look at a previous example. It's already been worked out. So, we already know what we're doing when we figure out a molar mass. So, on a previous video, we went ahead and found the molar mass of a compound of NaCl. We had one of each. We got a total of 58.44. If I want to find, let's say, the percent of chlorine in NaCl, it's pretty easy at this point once I do the setup and show all the, the, uh, the weights. All I would do is take chlorine, which is total weight of 35.45 grams, And I would divide it by the total weight of everything combined, which is 58.44 grams. And I times that by 100 to get my percentage. And that's really all you have to do. You have to extend it one more step to find a percent by mass. For this example, the percent would be 61% chlorine by weight. So 61% out of 100% is of just chlorine. And we can do a second example that has already been set up. So if you see, we're doing the same thing. We count how many moles we have, multiply it by each of how many moles we have. We get a total. The total is 179.87. So on this one, let's say I want to figure out the percent iron. I'm going to take, well, let's do one a little different. Let's take percent nitrogen. So I'm going to take this 28.02 grams, and I'm going to divide it by the total. And here's our total, 179.87. Eight seven grams times one hundred, and that percentage is going to be lower than the previous example because there's a lot more things within the compound. So when I do it, I get an answer that times hundred would be right around. If I round it up, sixteen percent, and so that compound has sixteen percent nitrogen. Okay, I'm going to have you take a look at one, do all the steps, and see what you come up with for your answer. So, again, we're not going to make it too difficult. Let's go ahead and take one that Fe2O3. What you'll need to do is you'll have to count the atoms, multiply it by their weights, add everything together. Once you add everything together, we're going to be looking for the percent of iron in this compound, Fe2O3. And then, so let's see what you get after you do that. Okay, so hopefully we are able to work it out. Um, if you got the wrong answer, this is the correct setup. You got two irons, you multiply by 55.85, you get 111.70 for those two. You have three oxygens, 
Take it times 16, which will give you 48. Adding everything up, you get a total weight of 159.70. If I want to find a percent, I'm going to take the weight of an element, the total weight, um, which is 111.70, not the 55.85, because uh, it, I have to have the total. So I take 111.70 divided by 159.70, and I get 70%. And that's how you find percent by mass.